This is going to be the final test prior to his uh, installation of my antenna tuner. This is with the uh, 400 picofarad fixed capacitor, 400 picofarad variable capacitor, and the switch that controls them. Also down here is the transmission. I'm using an analog motor control because it's simple. I didn't want to get involved with the software. And this is the transmission I have. It's a 10 to 1 gearbox driving the capacitor with an insulator flexible coupling for alignment. So that's uh, 24 volts. It's running at half speed right now. That way I can control it with a pulse width modulator to uh, operate the thing. Right now the bellows are pretty much shut. That's uh, one big capacitor there. It's, uh, it's doing its thing. Then the other one here is the switch control that does the uh, opening and closing. Let me see if I can hook up the battery here. Okay, I'll reverse polarity because it's already open. And there's the switch closing. That's a 100 amp knife switch, three phase, two throw, three poles. I made it three poles with all the pins connected together. So now it's six poles, basically all in parallel. And that's the closed position if the lights don't reflect too badly off the cover. And then that's the motor controller there. You're seeing the fluorescent lights here. Sorry about that. Can't run the battery and uh, control it at the same time. So, we're all set. Got the uh, terminals here for the two terminals on the antenna. And then everything else is DC controlled. There's another view of the switch. Gives you a better up view close. And you can see how I paralleled the contacts over here to make um, this set of contacts over here all in parallel, so they're double, double, double. Nothing like being robust. And then we get all the copper feeding the antenna with double sheets of uh, two inch wide copper, about 40 thousandths thick, pretty thick stuff. I did that to uh, reduce the inductance. And then that goes to the bottom of this capacitor. And that goes to the bottom of this capacitor where I have uh, hose clamps locking it down. By the way, if anybody's using vacuum variable capacitors, I can strongly recommend the uh, copper anti-seize compound, which I am unable to find now, but it's copper colored and I used it on my antennas last winter and I had problems with um, corrosion because water got in on the terminals and ate up my capacitor terminals. I had a 300 picofarad capacitor that I had hooked in series with my loop and the purpose there was to increase the working voltage to allow this thing to run at full power and uh, the grease escapes me it's a copper coat and it's a really a pretty good compound but you can possibly see it on the uh, connections if I don't get you dizzy there's some on this guy here and it's like anti-seize, but it's copper. Copper colored and uh, supposedly conductive. There it is. Finally talked long enough to find it. That's what I used on my vacuum variable. I got it on uh, eBay, my favorite store. And uh, it's copper compound, so it's thermally uh, enhanced and uh, possibly even better conductivity. I think it's little particles of copper in the... Uh, the grease. One other thing I wanted to show you, this is belt and suspenders. This is a 24, sorry, this is a 12 watt um, load. It's a couple of resistors, 25 ohms, 25 watts, so I put them in parallel. So it's a 12 ohm load, and I feed 12 volts to that, and the idea is to heat that plate up. That plate gets to about 160 degrees, and the intent is to warm up the interior of this cavity to keep moisture out <clears throat> because it's going to be outside all winter long and as much as I've tried to seal it with this uh, plexiglass cover it's going to uh, breathe so to try to keep this a little bit above ambient maybe a half a degree or a degree 
I got a 12 watt heater in there, about 36 BTUs. So that'll be uh, something I can use if I want to. Because once I put this thing up, I don't want to play with it. When I show you the full antenna, you'll understand a bit more. It's uh, kind of a skyscraper sort of effect. <laughs> I don't want to be working off the ground that high up. Have a good one. This is N4MQ. Bye.